Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kamal. If you are finding us first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notification. Today we're gonna start new series Fundamental Decks in Power BI. In this video, we're gonna cover these five topics: introduction to Dex, understanding Dex syntax, Dex data types, Dex operators, and constant common Dex function. Introduction to Dex. DAX stands for Data Analysis Expression. DAX is a library of functions and operators that allow us to create formulas and expression in several Microsoft products, such as Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Analysis Services, and Microsoft Power Pivot for Excel that extend our data model. DAX gives us the ability to create additional information at runtime DAX is very simple and the heart of Power BI, but it is not so easy to learn. But we are going to start really very simple with DAX and later on, we can move into more advanced calculation very quickly if you will understand those fundamental things very well. This course provides you with the fundamental techniques and features to enhance data model and visualization with the calculation as well as utilizing DAX in Power BI. In this course, we are going to use Contoso cell for Power BI. You can download it from the following URL link or just go to browser and search Contoso cell sample for Power BI. So now here we're gonna search Contoso cell sample for Power BI. Enter. Now just click on this link. So now here we can download. Also if you wanna see, you can see the detail. System requirement. Just click on download. Now here our downloading has been started. Now extract to unzip and close. Now we're gonna open. Here we have all our tables which we're gonna use for fundamental tax in Power BI. Understanding tax and tax. Let's take a look at tax and tax. It is very important to understand basic of tax which include the syntax because we are going to use it over and over till the end of this course. The major name, the equal sign operator, the DAX function, parenthesis, the reference table name, and the reference column. For example, we're gonna calculate total cell. So we have total cell equal to some cells and cells amount. Here we have a major name, equal sign operator, DAX function, parenthesis open and close, reference table, and column name. This is very simple DEX syntax. Always remember if there is a space between the table name or any special character, you have to use single code in your code. Just like we have a table name here, Denmark cells, we will use single code between them and column name. DEX data types. DEX supports the following data types, whole number, Decimal number, currency, date and time, boolean, tax, binary large object, and not applicable. We will discuss about more in not applicable NA. Dax operators and constant. 
The following table lists the operators and constants that are supported by DAX. Operator type, symbol, use and example. So have a look. We are going to use all these operators in the fundamental DAX in Power BI. Here we have two more operator. We are going to use them in the upcoming video. And now we are going to discuss common DAX function. Common DAX functions. The function is predefined formula that performs calculation on values provided to it. Mostly function have required the optional argument also called as parameters as input. Whenever the function has executed, a value is returned. The most fundamental DAX function in Power BI Aggregate functions, date and time functions, logical function and so on. And we are gonna discuss step by step all these functions in the upcoming video. Here we have a reference. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friend. Bye bye. Take care.